Today, Nintendo, or I really should say early this morning slash last night, Nintendo had their financial briefing, investors meeting. We're about to learn a whole bunch of stuff uh, coming out of the Q&A from that. But one thing we obviously got were all the sales updates, and there's a lot of sales updates to go over. And I thought about combining it all into one video, but I have so much to say that I'm actually going to be separating out some of the bigger news. So we'll be talking about this, uh, the total sales of Switch in a different video. We'll be talking about the uh, you know certain game sales, the top 10 game sales, uh, and, and update a different video. In this video, we're actually going to be focusing on uh, Nintendo's confirmed release windows for major Switch games. So they, every time they do this, they, they hey, release a confirmed release window update for major uh, games in different territories. And so the, the main territories that they include are Japan, the United States, and Europe. And these are all correct as of uh, November of 2020 because that's when this investors meeting happened. So as an example, in Japan, uh, for their major titles or titles they consider to be major, they have Buddy Mission Bond coming on January 29th, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury on February 12th of 2021, Famicom, Tente Club, Kieta, Kokishi, and Yoshiro, Nitatsu Shuju. I'm sure I totally butchered that. That's coming out in 2021. Then they have Bayonetta 3, Metroid Prime 4, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, sequel, they're calling it a sequel, uh, and New Pokemon Snap are all listed as TBA. And you're actually going to find that all those games are listed as TBA in the United States and Europe. Uh, in the United States, they have Age of Calamity listed for November 20th, Fitness Boxing 2 for December 4th, obviously Super Mario 3D World Plus Positive Fury as well on the 12th, and Bravely Default 2 is on February 26th. Note that that has a release date uh, in the U.S., but not in Japan. In Europe, they have Age of Calamity on the 20th, Fitness Boxing 2 on the 4th, uh, 3D World on the 12th, and then Bravely Fall 2 on the 26th with the rest of those TBA games. So basically, the United States and Europe are identical. Japan has some differences and is actually missing a key game. I'm kind of curious why Bravely Fall 2, which is being made in Japan, doesn't seem to be releasing in Japan on the same date, but it is what it is. I think this is pretty good stuff, to be honest. Um, what's interesting is that Pokemon Snap, uh, Breath of the Wild, Metro Prime 4, and Bayonetta 3 are kind of these like mystery games up there. Like They're huge games. And them being included in this kind of suggests a 2021 release. Uh, granted, I know things are included since they were announced, but when you think about it, you know, we don't know a lot for next year, but these are four announced games. We actually saw a little bit of Pokemon Snap. Obviously, we saw a, a, a tiny little fraction of Breath of the Wild sequel, you know, temporary name. Uh, we saw a logo for Metroid Prime 4. I know, not much. And then we didn't really see anything from Bandana 3, to be completely honest. <laughs> some, some little animation that's not really probably that relevant to the actual game. Uh, but I, I honestly think that there's a high chance all four of these titles are coming next year. You know, if, if you look at the early lineup, obviously in February we have Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. <clears throat> and then also Brave of the Default 2. And we know in March we have some some big third-party games like Monster Hunter Rise coming. But I, I honestly think these four titles could be the tentpole games for next year. Think about it. A new Pokemon Snap, a new a new Zelda game, a new Metroid game, and Bayonetta 3. That's a very good lineup for a year. Now, of those, the only one that's guaranteed to sell really, really well is the Breath of the Wild sequel. But I also think we're going to get a new gen Pokemon game. It's just not announced yet uh, because this year we got DLC. So next year, I think we're going to, maybe if not a new gen, at least like a, I don't know, let's a new Let's Go game or something, right? There's going to be some sort of new mainline sort of Pokemon game next year, whether it's new gen or otherwise. So uh, that's my personal opinion anyways. I Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll be more DLC. I don't know, but... That's, that's kind of the feeling I get based on the normal release schedule for Pokemon games. So you combine that with a Breath of the Wild and a Snap and a Prime 4 and a Bayonetta 3. And suddenly, that's a really nice slate of games for next year. Uh, whether or not they all arrive, anyone's guess. I mean, the least likely of the batch might be Metroid Prime 4. I mean, Bayonetta 3 ha didn't change developers. So even though we haven't really seen anything of it, we keep being told development's going well. Well, if development's actually going well, then a 2021 release would make some sense. Uh, Metroid Prime 4, we haven't seen, and it changed developers midway through, so that seems like the least likely, despite the 35th anniversary next year. Breath of the Wild sequel, I mean, when we get to 2021, that's five years. That's been, you know, as of March 3rd, um, that'll be five years since the release of the last 
mainlines all the game uh, in terms of uh, being a brand new game. Obviously, we had Link's Awakening, that, that remake in between, a remaster in between. But yeah, I I honestly think that uh, there is a high chance that Breath of the Wild sequel is coming next year for that 35th anniversary. Uh, and then, you know, Pokemon Snap obviously looked like it was pretty far along in development as is when they announced it. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about the new Pokemon Snap game as well. Although I felt like Pokemon Snap would have made more sense on Wii U. It wouldn't have sold on Wii U because hardly anything sold on Wii U besides a few tentpole games. And even those games are selling traditionally better on the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, I don't know. That's just my thoughts on, uh, what we have to look forward to in 2021 and what Nintendo's official statement on release dates is. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about this in general. I hope you guys are too. Nice and short video for our first one, but I got plenty more in the pipeline for you guys. Woo! Stay tuned, folks. I am Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you all in the next video.